My name is Khadija Aloni, and I am a coordinator of strategic research at the Relief and International Development Division of the Qatar Red Crescent. Through my work at the Qatar Red Crescent, I have operational experience in several different contexts in countries like Iraq, Turkey, Jordan, and Malaysia. I was attracted to the work of the humanitarian sector through my um, academic experience with Georgetown University. Uh, one of the values that we promote is that we have to be women and men for others. The humanitarian sector was the perfect blend of academic pursuit and direct, tangible work. I definitely did not think I had what it takes to be able to be a part of the humanitarian sector, um, mainly due to the broad nature of my um, academic background. However, all that it takes is to start. And you have to make sure that you are developing your soft skills throughout and as you try to immerse yourself in the humanitarian field. The great thing about this sector is that it is so broad and it covers so many aspects of life that you can enter it from any academic background. Regardless of where you stand in the humanitarian field, one of the biggest challenges is the workload and being able to balance that with proper training and self-development. Uh, it means you have to make a lot of difficult to choices at times and um, through platforms like the Kaya platform that the Humanitarian Leadership Academy offers, we're able to take our own development and take our time with it and uh, the courses are, are concise and are shareable enough that you are able to um, not only develop yourself but be able to enrich that the, work, the work that you're doing and the skills of your team. I personally took a couple of the courses that Kaya was offering online. I found that they allowed me to take on the usual day-to-day -day workload and at the same time being able to forward myself professionally. Um, as well, at times, we don't have um, enough space to be able to be constantly listening to the international dialogue that happens around uh, the forwarding uh, the humanitarian sector's work. So actually, I was able to keep up with that as well. The biggest advice that I would give uh, to those seeking a career in the humanitarian sector is that you have to understand that the humanitarian field is a world of trauma. And it is trauma not just for the beneficiaries that we're seeking to serve, but for the entire humanitarian sector that has been created in order to be able to reach them. Um, we find that uh, actually the, the most tense uh, work environments and the riskiest work environments create a natural um, setting for teamwork. However, the more comfortable um, and removed office environments, uh, there's just a stressful, however, it's not as easy to naturally create that spirit. So uh, my biggest advice would be for you to exercise humanity with your coworkers first. Thank you.